we had a chance earlier this week to do a live Skype interview with uh, the boys of Dogtown Studio. Uh, they worked on a, a game called Project 72. They're in the chat room. Do we have a trailer? Nice. Do we have a trailer we can show for that? in 72 hours. I mean, stop to finish, 72 hours, nothing more. Um, how about a little introduction from the guys? Hello, everybody. Uh, we're from Dogtown Studios. I'm Rasmus, I'm the director of Interactive Media. Uh, my name is Michael. I'm the creative director. I'm Kala, and I'm uh, the marketing uh, manager. So the first question we asked them was, um, that after the 72 hours, did they have a chance to, to tweak the gameplay, improve upon it, or was that 72 hours it? Uh, no, we never tweaked the play control. That was the first build we got from our uh, from the programmer. So that was, uh, it was just like, we didn't have time really to change anything. If, if we did a, a something, we needed to stick with it. We could change a little bit, but you know, we, we got it and we said like, oh my God, this is perfect, you know. We had to make it right the first time. Yeah. What we had to change was the, the obstacles and speed and yeah, a couple right. of those things we had to do, but the actual controls of, of, of uh, tilting the device in order to steer, that, that worked uh, first time actually, so that was really very lucky for us. Yep, so uh, this game took 72 hours to make, so I wanted to know how long did it actually take to get into the App Store? Well, that's a whole new, uh, a whole different story for us. We've been kind of, that's a big pain for us and we've been really, uh, we have had really bad luck with, uh, with Apple. So the game that took us 72 hours to develop actually took over 336 hours to approve. It's a really, it's a really fun game and there's, there's all these details to it, but something that kind of struck me was that it's simply in the loading screen, waiting to start the game, I found the music really catchy. And so I wanted to know if you know, composing that music was part of the 72 hour challenge. That's a guy. Uh, yes, it was. And it took quite a while to do it actually. Um, we, uh, I started with a couple of couple of ideas, and I was and really Coke. disappointed in the way it sounded. Uh, but then I guess I was kind of lucky. I found some found some good things, and I really started working on that those simple ideas, and uh, and made the the theme song for the game. And yeah, I think it took about ten hours to finalize that part. It's the cowbell that did it. <laughs> That's actually a fact. Guys, if you're ever not sure how to compose music, add cowbell. It's it's proven. <laughs> Check Wikipedia. Uh, yeah, well, the game is out right now. It's 99 cents. Um, it's a solid game, and I was wondering, you know, how are they going to improve upon that? Are there going to be any upgrades? Yes, this is the most exciting part for us, and we have we're going to provide regular free updates for the game, and we have already the community involved in this. They're helping us uh, with you know suggesting features, new features, fixes and tweaks to make the game just a little better all the time. And so for someone like me, the fact that the game is made in 72 hours is really impressive. And so I would want to play the 72 hour version. So I was wondering, how are they going to address the fact that there's going to be upgrades, but what about people who want to play the original version? Um, well, I think, I think what we're going to do is we're not going to change the beginning of the gameplay. So everything that you play in the beginning is still going to be the same. It's what happens later. Um, in the game, that's what's going to change, and that's what's going to make it really cool. It's, I like that. It's definitely a great idea. Um, and then, if you guys, I wanted to know where you guys could follow them, check out upgrades. Wh what are their social networks? Yeah, I think you should um, check out DogtownStudios.com for uh, for you know updates. We're going to update it regularly, and um, also our Twitter's Dogtown Studios, and our Facebook fan page Dogtown Studios. Yeah, um, I downloaded the game immediately. It's 99 cents. There's no reason why you shouldn't. 
Um, the leaderboards are fun. I definitely enjoyed trying to, trying, emphasis there, on trying <laughs> to get my name up there. Didn't happen. The guy in the spaceship is actually based off the first guy in space. Um, they did take a lot of um, inspiration from the 80s arcade games and classic gaming. And um, there is a, a, a contest going on for the leaderboards. If you reach one million miles, you can uh, potentially win $1,000. So make sure to check out their website at is it dogstudios.com. It Dogtown? is. Dogtownstudios.com. Check it out. There's a contest. You can win money for playing in space. A thousand dollars. So, a thousand people money, not space money. That's a thousand. Yeah. That's a thousand times more than it costs you to own the game. Think about it. That's mad.